All right, this is your one and only warning. This is a spoiler alert. Spoil alert. Don't look at this if you don't want to know what's in this box. As you shouldn't if you're going to play this game, so don't look at it. Well, if you're still here, that means you either have already played this uh, or you don't care about spoiler alerts. Or you just want to see. First off, I want to say thank you to all of our YouTube members. You guys are amazing, especially the new one, UFO Man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is going to be a quick, quick video on how to paint the worm. It's a little intimidating, but don't worry. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you some pretty easy techniques on how to do this. This is your first time with the channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not playing this game, you need to be playing it. This game is fantastic. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just a fan of good games, and this game is awesome. Without further ado, let's go. The first thing you're going to do is utilize some files that I got, or you have, or whatever. If you need something on uh, your paint desk that you don't have that I'm using, hit that uh, description below, and I use links to everything. It does help support the channel because I get about a fraction of a penny for every single purchase. So thank you for that if you do purchase stuff on there. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take some of, uh, well, if you want to use spray paint or if you are like me and you want to utilize your airbrush because you love your airbrush, you sleep with it next to you in your pillow, you coddle it, you love it, you whisper it sweet nothings. Uh, I'm going to spray this all in black first. Now, it's going to take a hot minute if you're using an airbrush, if you're using a spray paint, it's not going to take that long. I just feel like the airbrush paint is a lot better once it sets. Next, we're gonna take a dry brush. I'm using a giant makeup brush, and we're gonna take some gray. Mechanic is standard gray, neutral gray, whatever kind of gray you have that's just a neutral gray, utilize that. It doesn't necessarily need to be mechanic is standard gray. Whatever you got. Next, we are going to take some pure white. Again, whatever kind of pure white you have, none of this off-color eggshell crap or whatever you got. Pure white, and we're gonna just do a very light dry brush on the face and on the back of our worm. All right, let's start painting this thing. First thing we're gonna use is some Iron Jaws Yellow. We're gonna be using all contrast paints for this because it makes it super easy and it looks super good. So we're gonna be using this on the top portion of our worm, just hitting that top area, and then we're gonna wet blend the rest of it as you're gonna see here in a second. Next, we're gonna take some Plague Bearers Flesh and we're gonna use this on the bottom half of our worm. So the portion of the worm that is closest to the ground. This is going to create that yellow and green color variation and you're basically just going to wet blend these two in the middle not hitting those lesions and cuts on the worm. We're going to do this back and forth on these miniatures and you're just hitting up all of the skin or worm areas I guess you could say on the front and the back. Now again, there's no right or wrong reason. If you want to let it dry and add more yellow to the top, this was an idea I had pushed around, but I'm trying to get these miniatures pushed out a little bit faster due to the busy schedule of my life. And I always find the more, I guess this makes sense anyways, the more things you have going on, the less time you have <laughs> to paint. I mean, that makes total sense, obviously. Um, so I try and push some of these bigger ones out of the way quickly unless I really want to do a detailed job on it Which I just don't have as much time as I would like to Anymore, so we're gonna go back and forth and these are just these snippets of Going back and forth from the body to the head to the tail and if you play this game You'll know that these 
segments all have different things that they do. I don't want to spoil it too much, but that's exactly what the game is about, and it's amazing. Once you're satisfied with all of your painting on the body with that yellow and green look, we're gonna take these lesions and we're gonna fill them full of a lupus pink. We're also gonna use this on the mouth as well. Those nasty looking um, mandibles that are coming out, they look disgusting. They remind me of the movie Tremors and that's kind of where I got the theme for this. Not as deserty looking as the, the Tremors in Tremors, um, but I got some inspiration from Dune as well. Some pictures from Dune that people had interpreted because I felt like the card art was not very good. I didn't like the white of it on the card art. I thought it was not not what the what the deep woods would be in my imagination. So I had to change it. And usually I don't do that. I usually keep with the card art, but I just didn't like it. So here we are. To add just a little bit more red on the inside of those nasty mandibles, we're going to use some Flesh Terrors red on that. For all of our bone areas, we're going to use some Skeleton Horde. That includes the teeth in the middle as well. Now we're already starting to come to a close here on this miniature. I told you it's not going to take very long. We're not doing any highlights. We're just slapping on and moving forward. And you'll understand why when you play this game because there's so many hidden boxes. And if you play one scenario a week, you're painting one miniature a week. Some of them are big, some not so much. I'm not trying to spoil anything else. We're going to use some Agaros Dunes on that base of our miniature, or worm miniature I guess you could say just to make it that deserty kind of look a little bit. While I'm looking at this, there's kind of some greenery pustules, I guess you could say, as my phone goes off. And I'm not gonna fix that. Um, we're gonna took some Militarium Green and put that on there to kind of give it a little tr contrast color of that green and my phone keeps going off and the agaros dunes as well
Just to add a little bit more, we're going to take some blood for the blood god and we're going to slap that on the teeth and the mandible area or the mouth area of our worm. I feel like this is going to give it some nice little extra oomph on it. And for an extra added effect, we're going to take something that Nurgle's rot and put it on the teeth. Just give it that nasty, disgusting look. Super, super cool. that is it pretty simple nothing crazy and you can notice that you didn't put a lot of effort in it but it came out pretty good for just being a quick paint uh, that is accompanied to the zenithal highlighting you put on there once you do that and you use the contrast paint it helps out tremendously it saves you a bunch of time so well thank you for watching i appreciate all you guys you guys are amazing all the youtube members all the subscribers everybody who leaves a comment you guys are amazing I hope to see you on the next one, and until then, paint on.